Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm pretty excited to share that Deno 1.0 is out. No, no, it's not a movie or a cartoon character that, as it might look like in the picture. So what do you think this is? So what is Deno? Well, Deno is a secure runtime for JavaScript and TypeScript. So, what are the features that it offers? Well, it's secure and you can create fast, secure sites and dynamic apps with Deno. And it also supports TypeScript out of the box. You have built-in utilities like Dependency Inspector, Deno Info and a Code Formatter as well. But then, wait a minute. How is it different than Node then? Well, let's take a look. So for Node, a common example would be if you want to install a package, what would you do? You would run npm install and you have to install the package, right? With Deno, you can import it directly from the server. Now one of the main things about Node is that when you install a package in, in Node, these packages that you install from the package registry are cannot be 100% secure, which means you are on the mercy of the developer uh, to ensure that he takes care of the security. Now in Node, it actually gives you the access to all of the file system, which means that when you install the package, the package can actually have access to your entire computer, which is not really good, right? However, Deno is very secure by default because there is no file access. so by default execute the code in a sandbox which means that runtime has no access to the file system the network execution of other scripts and the environment variables as well okay unless so unless you explicitly enable things you give it an access it doesn't have any access by default so it is secure by default and it also ships with a single executable file Brilliant. So that's a small information about Deno and I'm going to see you in the next video. If you like my video, please do subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.